Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to service the front brakes on this 2003 Ford Focus. Um, it, this is the same process for any 2000 to 2004 Focus. And we show you how to do the right hand front. Obviously, you always want to do your brakes in pairs, so the left hand front is the same procedure. Tools you'll need are jack and jack stands, 19 millimeter socket or ratchet, um, socket and ratchet, or a tire iron. T45 Torx driver, a large C-clamp, pliers, and a torque wrench. Okay, remove the wheel and tire. Uh, you can use your uh, lug wrench that comes with the vehicle. If you're using your lug wrench or hand tools, you want to have the uh, tire on the ground. Loosen the lug nuts first, then raise and support the car and remove the lug nuts. You will need kind of a thin walled socket. Regular uh, impact sockets don't really fit in here. Fast forward as I remove the lug nuts, and then actually I realize the wheel is stuck on, so I thread two lug nuts back on and use a little bit of an alternative method to remove the wheel. Okay, with the wheel off, we can kind of inspect the brakes. These brakes are actually look like they're fairly new. Um, the rotor looks a little rusty, but that's just kind of from sitting. You can see in here, and I'll turn and spin the rotor a little bit. On each side are the brake pads, and you can see they're nice and thick, so they're really new. But I'm going to show you how to take this apart and put it back together. Okay, there's two bolts. Okay. See it right here, another one right up here. And there's a T45 Torx bit and the ratchet, and these things should not be too tight. I'll just fast forward here as I remove those two bolts. And as those bolts come out, you'll actually, and I'll show you a little bit later, you'll want to try and pull them out just a little further because uh, if they stay in, they'll kind of grip onto the steering knuckle and make it difficult to remove the uh, caliper. Okay, this wire retainer here, just use a screwdriver and pry it out like that. Then you kind of give a pull on your caliper. You should loosen it up a little bit. Just try to pull out the bolts just a little more. Okay, what I need to do is just take a pair of pliers right onto this bolt, twist, and pull it out a little more. Screwdriver, uh, you can pry, just pry the pad away from the caliper, make sure it's free. Okay, and then pry up on the clips or even right here. Okay, to remove the 
rotor for replacement. Take your lug nuts and just thread them back on a little bit. This just protects the um, studs from getting damaged. Okay, and with the lug nuts protecting the studs, you want to hit the rotor right here. You want to avoid making contact with the disc so you don't damage it. on your caliper, as your brake pads wear, okay, the caliper has to get narrower, so what it does is this piston works its way out. And you have to reset that before you put your new pads on. So you use a nice big C-clamp like this, okay, put it on, put it on your caliper. as I tighten the C-clamp up, this piston will go back up inside. Okay, and once you've forced that piston back in, then uh, remove the C-clamp. Okay, with that reset, we can put this back right here. I'm putting the old rotor back on, but the rotors from Warney Auto will go right on, fit just like the original. I usually like to do is take a lug nut, install it on there just to hold it in place. Okay, now your pads, bring your caliper down. The inside pad has the clip on it. Just kind of force that into place. Side pad slips down over. Okay. This wire retainer comes down, clips on like that. Okay. These here, you want to make sure that they slide back and forth. Um, they don't have to be easy, but you should be able to do it with your fingers. Okay, and you want to slide them out all the way. Okay. Put your caliper, put it down on. Okay, you can bring this down, and it locks into place and holds things on. Okay, with our T45, just got to kind of make sure that your caliper is in there. Push on the wrench as you start turning it and get the bolts into the bracket. Start that one. Same thing, push in. And I'll just fast forward here as I just preliminarily tighten those two bolts. And using a torque wrench, you want to tighten these up to 30 foot pounds. Okay, and then you can take your lug nut off. And last but not least, make sure that this grommet is back in the bracket here. Back 
And I'll fast forward here, put the wheel on, make sure you thread the lug nuts on a few turns finger tight just to make sure that they're not cross threading. And then tighten your lug nuts up preliminarily and then you're going to put the vehicle on the ground and torque the lug nuts. You want to torque the lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds and using a crossing pattern. Make sure you pump your brakes, get the pedal nice and firm before you try and do a road test. Then do stops from 5 and 10 miles an hour before you take your car out on the road. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.